What did he do? He passed it. <laughs> all this stuff. <laughs> he, he, oh, all man, this. He, went, he did all of this. This is him, right? But, but, well, it, it, it's... Same machine. He's the, he was a puppet. He's a puppet. He's a puppet. Well, he's, yeah. but, but the thing is, is that you're right. As a believer, in him saying how much he was a Christian and all of this stuff, then, you know. But you, you, you're pushing through things that goes against yeah. the creator. So... Yeah, I'm, I, I hear you with that. Mm. Oh. Go ahead, sister. No, I was just going to say, when you came, we had you here uh, several times, and then the beginning, and then you showed the whole setup, and the people that were behind it, mm. hey, a law after school, that was the beginning of the whole setup. And right. then we know that anytime God is not present, then abuse is inevitable. Inevitable. Any movement absent of God is doomed to failure. Any movement absent of God is doomed to failure. It's just like I watch people in what they call the so-called conscious community in, in, uh, in the different uh, 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 in the black community. They have these different conscious leaders. And a lot of them, their, their movements are absent God. They're talking about the black woman is God. They said that the son is God. Okay, so uh, some of them saying that they're atheists. So I mean, it's 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 crazy. But their movements are starting to just crash and crumble because they don't have uh, any of the the guidance from the Creator. Mm. You know, they they're just doing it on, on on political and social issues. Okay, but I think you you got the the gist of the the baby thing. All right, but I want to show you. I wanted to show you this because this is going to go into now here's a, a, a quick refresh. Okay, I want you to see this real quick refresh. When you find a man who married or was with a woman, he's Muslim, she's not. And then they break up, and she decides, well, I'm not dealing with men anymore, and they have children together. Now, she's a homosexual, raising babies, girls, and boys, and the message is that those child are given because the father is not in the life. Well, that is happening a lot. This, yep, that's all I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, it, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. And the thing is, is that a lot of this stuff is um, depressing the children. You know, they, they want to commit suicide and all kinds of things over those, those types of situations. But I want you to see this real fast. This this is Kota Kete. It's time to proceed, gentlemen. Time to stop the looking. Start the bidding. Who will offer me 100 pounds with this fine wench? Do I hear 100 pounds? Do I hear 100 pounds? We'll start at 50. Who I have 50 over here. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, I've got 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, And the sad thing about this is, our, a lot of our children don't know about this thing, about this, is because they don't teach in their history. Right. Okay? But now watch, watch this. I showed you that. I showed you this one. This is ESPN. Back out to our auctioneer. Uh, and earlier today, Al Wheeler auctioning off Antonio Brown. Next up for auction, we got Antonio Brown. Do I hear twenty dollars? Twenty dollars. 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 Twenty
Now our kids can't even be offended by that because they don't know their history. Okay. But this is mm. stuff that they just do blatantly. Okay. Blatantly. Look like get out to me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, that's cool. crazy. But now, here we go. This is. Uh, what time is it? How, how long are we on time? Goodbye, Uncle Tom. This was a movie that was uh, that came out in the 70s and it was banned from the theaters because basically of, of the stuff that it was showing about slavery. But this was all the stuff that was according to the slave master's journals. So this was the slave master's telling you what was going on, right? So uh, the, these Italian guys made a movie just a uh, depiction of what was going on in those journals. But um, watch this. I'm going to show you two parts from this real quick. Right. First part I is myself have allowed them to move freely about the house so they can learn who really are the slaves and masters here. Senator, don't please. No chicken bones, I beg of you. I've had to take two of them to the veterinaries already this week. Now you heard what she said, right? Veterinary. Right. Veterinary. She said, she said, uh, she said, Senator, please, no chicken bones, I beg of you because I had to take two of them to the veterinarians, all right? Mm. So now, so that just lets you know the extent to, you know, how these people looked at us, okay? But now watch this, because this is the important part that I want to show you. Oh my God. Here's the next thing I want to show you real quick in here. This movie, um, I mean, it has some horrible stuff in here. Mm -hmm. um, you said this was from the 70s? Mm -hmm. To move free about the house. Yeah, yeah this was from the 70s, and it was, it was banned from the theaters. What's the name of it? Um, Barbara. Goodbye, Uncle Tom. I'm an aristocrat. I believe goodbye, in freedom. Uncle Tom. Uh, no, uh, goodbye. Welcome, Mr. Master. Welcome. Classic right. examples of greed. Now, listen to this, this guy. And John Randolph Is it a of Roanoke. Really and Professor Thomas R. Zoo. In history, we know that every great civilization was founded on slavery. Let us take the classic examples of Greece and the Rome from whence you turn. It's God's and nature's law that man attempt to prevail over his fellow man. If one becomes the master, one becomes the slave. Let us remember that God is wise. And his law is why we obey over all other races. Oh, sorry, Professor. What was that you said? God is wise. And as long as God is wise, we shall prevail over all other races. Beg your pardon, Professor, but with all this confusion, would you mind repeating? God is wise. And as long as God is wise, we shall prevail over all other races. Honey. So what was the statement? Did he say God is wise? Uh, white. White. He said he said white. No, he always said white. He said God is white, and as long as God is white, we should prevail over all other races. So that's what that get, this game is about. Okay, in Japan, uh, Jesus depicted as white, and they worship a white Jesus, <laughs> white uh, Caucasian Jesus. Okay, and you see what is what, what's happened with us. But the thing is, is that through uh, uh, studying and doing research, you know that he's not. Okay? But now, watch this. Because this is getting closer to the goal of uh, what Brother uh, 
that's not what they get into. Billy Osborne has never been one to mince words or show. because I want to get to this other topic. So in Slate, they have a piece uh, on .com, Santa Claus should not be a white man anymore. And when I saw this headline, I kind of laughed, and I said, oh, this is so ridiculous. Yet another person claiming it's racist to have a white Santa, you know? And by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white, but this person is just arguing that, <laughs> that maybe we should, we should also have a black Santa. But, you know, Santa is what he is, and just so you know, we're just debating this because someone wrote about it, kids. Okay, wanted to get that straight. But Jedediah, when I read the piece, the author seems to have, you know, she's African-American, and she seems to have real pain at having grown up with this image of a white Santa, and she speaks about it kind of honestly, saying, I, I didn't really understand why yeah. that had to be. Yeah, she wants Santa to be inclusive, and I had the same reaction. Initially, I was thinking, oh, this is more politically correct nonsense, this is hypersensitivity in our culture, and then you read the piece and you really walk through the steps with her. I think it's a tribute to her writing, and you realize if you were a young kid and you were African American and your Santa Claus was white, it would affect you when you went to school. Maybe you wouldn't feel that you were part of that tradition. Now, she suggests that a penguin should be Santa. Okay, and that's where she goes off the rails. Of, well, I think that's kind of interesting, though, to have an animal, which is something that kids love sort of brings that cartoonish component into it and I think that makes all kids kind of feel welcome in the process. Oh, so I see no. where she was going with that. No, no it doesn't. It makes all all birds feel welcome. <laughs> and think about when African American parents tell their children that Santa Claus bought these these gifts for them. Think about that. Yeah, it's a power grab. Right, but, yeah. but you're adding Wait, to... Say, say again? No, I'm asking you to repeat that again. Think, think about what happens when an African-American parent tells their child that Santa Claus, you know, is white. And Santa Claus is the one that's bringing them these gifts and all of this stuff. It, it just uh, continues the inferiority yeah. right. complex that our children have. Exactly. Right. 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 And, 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 and they're already used to seeing so many negative images of us on television and on the internet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and YouTube and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. then you go go around and tell take the, the, the credit from you or possibly saying the gift is from, from God. Okay? Because yeah, right. it is like that's what she's saying. Because mm -hmm. really, if you right. hear her, she actually believes in Santa Claus. Yeah, right. I mean, right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> how about just stop lying? Right. Stop lying to the kids right. and tell them, right. it ain't no sense. Santa is, you know? He's not black or white. Oh, right. He's not real. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, actually, they're teaching the kids is that it's okay to lie. Right. Yeah. Right. But see, and, the, and it's funny, when I first started teaching, um, I had a third grade class, and the kids said to me, they said, Mr. Abdul, she said, is, it, is Santa Claus real? I said, no, Santa Claus not real. And I wasn't even really thinking about it, because I'm going to tell, tell the kids the truth. Right. So one of the parents got upset that I said that. But then I explained it to her. You know, I explained the same thing. You know, you're out here buying these gifts and stuff for your, for your child, but you're giving the, the, all the credit away. Right. You know, so... Oh no! Well, she 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 understood what I said. First, she was angry, but then after you know, I talk talk to her about it, then she could understand. Well, most of these holidays are built on lies anyway. Well, well, they're built on really they're, they're built on lies and they're built on paganism. Sure. Paganism. Mm -hmm. Because you tell your kids to behave, and then there's one night where they can go out and do mischief, and they can vandalize your car and throw eggs and stuff. That's so that's like right. that's 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 Halloween. Halloween. It's just like when they, I see the some perch. churches advertise, <laughs> yeah, you know. during Halloween, they advertise the haunted church. Okay? So it's like they're celebrating evil. You know? Mm -hmm. go, go ahead, brother. Yeah, uh, two things. One, they got a commercial on TV where his little boy is opening a, a Christmas present, mm -hmm. and his parents are standing on the side. 
Then he shouts something real loud. I love you, Santa Claus. That's one. Mm -hmm. The other one is that, how you say his name? I know his last name is Scrooge. What's the other name? Uh, Ebenezer. Yeah. He always say what? Bah humbug? Uh-huh. Anybody know what that means? Bah humbug. No, I don't know what it means. Fraud. Fraud. <laughs> he's actually, when you, when you Google it or look it up in the dictionary, he's actually saying they think he's tight with the, you know, don't, you know, with, with the, with the first strings, mm -hmm. don't want to pay nobody and stuff like that. Right. But actually, what he, he don't want to deal in that. You know. Right. He's right. saying it's a fraud. Right. So that is a fraud. Means, means fraud. Mm. So they turn him into the bad guy. They turn him into the bad guy. We're trying to expose exactly. the truth. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, <it. laughs> that's crazy. That always, that always happens. <laughs> These people, boy. But so, now... So, so you can say that, that Santa Claus, that's a big part of white supremacy. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like, uh. Yeah, because it, it, it's, it's dealing with imagery, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Think about, I mean, think about us and think about our children. In school, most of the time when they read those stories or look at those stories, they're, they're not seeing somebody that's representative of them. True. Mm -hmm. So the heroes and the sheroes of all the stories are usually white. Okay, so they feel bad. They feel bad, right? Hey, hey, girl, right? They feel like you know they're, they're nothing. But now watch this, because I showed this to you last time. But I'm showing you this real quick now because a couple of people didn't see it. But I want you to hear what this lady says, and then we think about um, uh, Kelly's uh, position. But watch what she says. He could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually... Now, she's talking about Trump, okay? ...control right. uh, exactly what people think. And that is the that is you, our job. Yeah. Yes, you heard that right. She said that's she our job. Oh, she slipped up. ...that all people who support Donald Trump... all the best of plans. Listen to it. Let's watch this. So let's oh. take this from the beginning, and you can listen to it. And are still Trump supporters. They go, yeah, you guys are going crazy. He's doing, what are you so surprised about? He's doing exactly what he said he's going to do. Well, and I think that the dangerous, you know, edges here are that he's trying to undermine the media, trying to make up his own facts. And it could be that while unemployment and uh, the, the economy worsens, he could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually control Right. Uh, exactly what people think, and that is the that is if, our job. Yeah. If you look at the issues, uh, oh, what people think. You mean, she said it right there. That's, our job. that's what right, and that's what Megyn Kelly was doing. She was doing her job. Mm. They want to control what you think, what you believe, right? But but now, I wanted to let that whole um, Santa Claus thing play through, but. We can go to the next piece here. Yeah, one of the men talked about that a few years ago, how they had Santa Claus, like he's God, he knows when you're sleeping, he knows when you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Them bed. songs, yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Billy like Osborne has never been one to mince words or show remorse. politically correct nonsense this is hypersensitivity in our culture and then going with that no, no it doesn't it makes all all birds feel welcome <laughs> uh, um, Kids like ones. But, you know <laughs> but I, okay so that so i've given her name is aisha harris i've given her her you know her due on where she was going with it but just because it makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it has to change you know i mean Jesus it was a white man too, but you, you know, it's like, we have, he was a historical figure, I mean, that's a verifiable fact, as is Santa, I just want the kids watching to know that. Yes. But my point is, how do you just revise it, you know, in the middle of the legacy of the story and change Santa from white to black? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't. Uh, first of all, the penguin would never work, Megan, because a penguin cannot lug all of those gifts around the world. Uh, that's what we just, just want to be Santa clear. That's what we want to stuff is up there. Exactly. But you're absolutely right. Look, Santa Claus is based on St. Nicholas, who was a, an actual person, a Greek bishop, uh, and was a white man. And so all of this... I mean, 
you know, I understand. Yeah. What is he saying? Was based off of Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas. Oh, Saint Nicholas. Okay. Come on, how cute is he, right? So, I, you know, you can't take facts and then try to change them to fit some sort of a political agenda or a sensitivity agenda. Bernard, quick last word. Look, I, I think that it's fine exactly. for Santa to be represented as a traditional white man, but I also think that if people want to represent him as an African-American male, a Latina, an Asian, or a drag queen, I think our social fabric can sort yeah, of take the elasticity. <laughs> no, can take the elasticity of Chris Kringle. I mean, I really don't think that a society is going to break up right, if go. people respond to Santa in different ways. Thank you for that, Bernard. So he, he, he was trying to say something different. She didn't say something no. Yeah, you cut him <laughs> off now, but. Mm -hmm. here's, here's Muhammad Ali. Things are getting much better, but I always wonder when I went to church on Sundays. I've always been one to, I'm not just a boxer. I do a lot of reading, a lot of studying, and I ask questions. I go out, travel these countries, and watch how their people live in America. And I always ask my mother, I say, Mother, how come is everything white? I said, Why is Jesus white with blonde and blue eyes? Why is the Lord Supper all white men? Angels are white, Pope, Mary, and every, even the angels. I said, Mother, when we die, are we going to heaven? She said, Naturally, we're going to heaven. I said, Well, what happened to all the black angels they took the pictures? <laughs> folks was in heaven too, and the black angels were in the kitchen preparing the milk and honey. <laughs> I said, listen, you quit saying that, but I was always curious, and I always wondered why I had to die to go to heaven. Why I couldn't have pretty cars and good money and nice homes now. Why do I have to wait till I die to get milk and honey? And I said, mama, I don't want no milk and honey. I like steaks. And, and I said, milk and honey is a laxative anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I was always curious. I always wondered why. You know, Tarzan is the king of the jungle in Africa. He was white. <laughs> I saw this white man swinging in Africa with a light bulb hollering. Oh! Do you all see Tarzan over there? Do you see Tarzan? And all the Africans, so he's beating them up and breaking the lion's jaw. And here's Tarzan talking to the animals. And... The Africans been there for centuries, and he yet can't talk to the animals. <laughs> I always wonder why Miss America was always white. All the beautiful brown women in America, beautiful suntans, beauty shapes, all tight complexions, but she always was white. And Miss World was always white. And Miss Universe was always white. And then they got some stuff called White House Cigars. White swan soap, king white soap, white cloud tissue paper, white rain harris, white tornado flow wax. Everything was white. And the angel food cake was the white cake, and the devil food cake was the chocolate cake. I always wondered, you know, and, and the president lived in the White House. And Mary had a little lamb, his feet as white as snow, and snow white. A little boy, a little second grader, told me that. That God was white. I said, how, I said, how you know? He said, oh, I saw it on television. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. White, Santa Claus was white. And everything bad was black. The little ugly duckling was a black duck. And the black cat was the bad luck. And if I threaten you, I'm going to blackmail you. <laughs> I said, Mama, why don't you call it white male? They lie too. <laughs> I was always curious, and then and this is when I knew something was wrong. <laughs> Won the Olympic gold medal in Rome, met me. Olympic champion, the Russian standing right here, and the pole right here. Is Poland considered a communist country? Yeah. Yeah, I'm defeating America's so called threats and enemies. And the flag is going dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I'm standing so proud. Dun, 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 dun. And I don't want the world of America. Dun, 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 dun. I took my gold medal, thought I'd invented something. I said, man, I know I'm going to get my people freedom today. I'm the champion of the whole world, Olympic champion. I know I can eat downtown now. And I went downtown that day, had my big old medal on, and went to restaurants. At that time, black things weren't integrated. The black folks couldn't eat downtown. And I went downtown, and I sat down, and I said, you know, a cup of coffee, a hot dog. 
He said, the lady said, we don't serve Negroes. <laughs> I'm so mad. I said, I don't eat them either. Just give me a cup of <laughs> <laughs> Olympic gold medal. One, three days ago, I fought for this country in Rome. I won the gold medal, and I'm going to eat. The manager heard him tell the manager, and she says, he said, well, I'm not the, I'm not the man that he's got to go out. Anyway, I didn't raise no other now. And I had to leave that restaurant in my hometown where I went to church and served in their Christianity and fought and daddy fought in all the wars. Just won the gold medal. They couldn't eat downtown. I said, something's wrong. And from then on, I've been a Muslim. <laughs> still inspires millions around the world and whose relics have become more valued than gold. St. Nicholas. Today, his bones are kept in the Italian town of Bari. Now, let me sum this up for you a little bit. They had, uh, had um, St. Nicholas's remains. So they were gonna do facial reconstruction on St. Nicholas. Alright? Here we go. Sturdy. This was, oh my god, this had to be sometime in the whew, 90s. So, so, so they dug up his grave? Okay. Yeah, they had, they had his, his um, tomb. And they, they took his, um, got his skull from the grave. You said this was the 90s? This was in the 90s. So what, what made them do it? Or who was, who was like this guy, for some, I, I can't remember. Um, I know it was this one guy. I don't know if he owned it or yeah. mm -hmm. something, but he was really into you know getting this facial reconstruction done yeah. of it because he, uh, the St. Nicholas character was so important to him. All right, so he wanted to see what he actually looked like. But we to get to the, uh, it was a long time. It was on television, they had all these commercials and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was, no, it is, I mean, it's actually an interesting thing to watch all the way through um, because, you know, you got to see people's reactions and, you know, what they were thinking as they were doing. But we had the opportunity. He said he was Greek, right? Mm -hmm. Greek Mediterranean. To see the completed reconstruction of St. Nicholas's face. <laughs> 